<laughs> All right. Welcome back to SOS. I'm BA. Sippy. And today we have a bunch of random, random, very, very random and unique gadgets and doodads and doomadankies. And I need to share with you one particular item right off the bat. The wife's going to have to help me with this one because. I don't know I don't think certain you ever things. Took microbiology. I, I did not. I did not. I you got me. <laughs> so I've got I've got two of these unique devices, and she's going to talk more about it because I'm going to unbox it, and you just start where you think we should start. Okay. Well, we'll do a little bit of background here with these UV disinfection lamps. Um, I don't know if hospitals today still use them, but, um, I know that probably about 10 with, I think within the last 10 years ago, um, these used to be called, or could still be called germicidal lamps. And they were typically found in hospital rooms, nurseries, operating rooms, and even the cafeteria. I haven't seen them in the place where I've worked, but I don't know if they're still used today but um this is a non-ionizing radiation type of destruction that it'll use to kill basically organisms so there's certain words we can't use because of uh restrictions for uh language uh, yes yeah that starts with a v yeah so there's there's certain words we're not allowed to use because it could get flagged and we're not allowed to talk about that. So she's going to keep it as you know what we're talking about, but we're not allowed to say because right. we're censored. Especially since we're all thinking about what we're going through with a certain organism <laughs> yeah. within the last 18 months. And, and if you're saying, aware of what's going on, then you know what we're talking about. you know about. what this is going to pertain to. Okay. So... It's a UV type of light, and this type of, uh, what they call the disinfection lamp, this actually um, focuses on your surface areas. Visual. It's a very bright UV light. Please, please, please do not stare into do it. Do not stare into it. You can stare into it from the, from the camera view. But we can't stare at it when we're turning it on in, in right. person. So, I mean, you just glance, that's fine. But it's like the sun. If you stare at it, you're going to damage your eyes. It has adhesive on the back side so you can stick it to stuff. I thought that was kind of neat. Yeah. Um, so, what the UV uh, rays will actually do is it'll damage the DNA cells of exposed cells of organisms. So, it will not penetrate through surfaces. This is only for surfaces that you touch. That's why they recommended doing like bathrooms, uh, pet areas, uh, daycare centers, daycare centers uh, after everyone leaves. Of obviously, course. yeah. Um, It'll run for about an hour and thirty minutes. You can just set it in place where you need it, turn it on, leave the room, and let it do its thing. Um, I would recommend one per room. If you're going to do something like this, I wouldn't go overkill, but one now, per room. Yeah, the way Because it cleans the air. Right, but it's a smaller area. It's not going to reach out and penetrate just how the sun's UV lights can only go so far yeah. due to our atmosphere. Um, that's why they also have the ozone to help kind of control that because this will also kill... Uh, basically organisms microbes that are in the air mm -hmm. it'll dry out the dna so basically when the the um well the... Hey, let me let me explain something real quick i'm gonna add to this so to help <laughs> people understand um okay so this company um uh, that is on the logo there okay they uh they work with me occasionally and uh, I told him what the wife and I were going through, that we were both sick and what we were sick from. And he says, I've got a gadget I'm going to send you. And you're going to like this because this is going to clean your air. And uh, it'll also help you in the future. So he sent me this based off of what you guys know and what she's explaining to you. And this is a gadget that will help 
clean your air for those nasty, nasty things you hear about on the news every day. Mm, those nasty <laughs> microbes. So basically, it, it, prohibits, <laughs> it prohibits that organism from replicating itself. Pretty strange. I mean, it's very, very odd, but just, you know, um, it is things floating in the air and it kills the things that are in the air. And so basically what this one says that it'll kill the organisms, that's 260 nanometers. And the thing that we've been battling the last 18 months is actually uh, what I've been researching between 125, 100 nanometers. So basically um, it'll, it can help with that because um, it's, it goes in range and how the size is with the numbers. So if you have like 0.4 or all the way up to 500, 500 means that's the giant microbe. Yeah. And this kills the microbes up to 260. So now one thing you need to keep in mind before you ever turn one of these on is uh, pets, plants. If you have anything in the area, you need to remove them. You, you can't have pets or any of that stuff near, near these things. Plants, you can't have them near your plants. Uh, but I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to let you see what, uh, what it does. The effect is really neat. It's just, it has a crazy glow to it. And, and please don't use it like a tanning bed. It'll no. cause skin burns. Yes. And if you use it a lot over time, it can cause, of course, skin cancer. Yeah. So don't go like I said, to disinfect <laughs> your skin surface. Folks, like I said, if you get one of these, turn it on, leave the room. Okay. Yep. And leave it. And you can leave the leave your house for about an hour and 30 minutes. And this should be off by the time you get back. Or just turn it off as soon as you come in. But you hold this down and you're going to see a blue light come on. Should be a blue light. It's going to blink. It's giving you time to leave. So it flashes to let you know. It says, hey, I'm going to be coming on. I'm giving you time to leave the room and I'm warming up. So uh, I'm just going to back up. I'm going to let them both light up. And uh, then I'll, I'll, once they get going, I'll quickly turn them off. But they'll do that for a few. The blinking, that's kind of like a timer. Now one's already lit. That lights it up, and then a couple more seconds, and the other one should fire right up. It's already starting to glow. Uh, but it puts out this really cool light that you're not supposed to stare at. <laughs> and, and I was unaware of that, and the wife had to tell me. She's like, you didn't look at this for a long period of time, did you? I was like, no, I just sort of turned it on. I was tripping out on the, the crazy color it was emitting, and, and I just turned it off. Uh, but see, it gives you enough time to turn them on and walk away. Like I said, I'm not I'm not going to be staring at this thing. I just want to turn them off. You just quick tap, shut them down. Hour and 30 minutes, and then, you know, just plug them back up, charge them back up, and then you can do it again for another cleaning uh, whenever you need to do another cleaning. So uh, this is good if you're sanitizing a workspace or uh, if you work in like a school setting and you're in a classroom and this is kind of on your desk, and you just sort of turn that on. And, you know, come back to class the next day and it'll be off by the time you get there. So this would be a good thing if you're trying to uh, clean the air in your little workspaces. But I thought that was really neat and I wanted to share that. And the next thing we need to we need to move on to other gadgets. I hope you guys enjoyed. You got anything else you want to add to that one? That's pretty much it. That's it. All right. So we got I got some random gadgets here. Now, this one here uh, came to me from Wubin. And this company called Wubin. Uh, dude, if you guys love EDC gadgets, these folks. Now, they only sent me this. But looking at their product line of crazy stuff, I was so fascinated. I was like, dude, I wish this company would send me more crazy stuff like this because this is this is neat. All right. I got to show you this. I just thought it was pretty cool. And drawing the suspension. I know, I know. But look at look at their packaging. How they've got this. It's all magnetic. And it opens up all fancy like. And I was tripping out like on the little packaging. They've got like little packaging of all this stuff. Uh the main item here is the crazy pen. And <laughs> I call this the crazy pen because it, it not only like uh, I mean, it just, it does so many different things for, for like an EDC pen. I thought it was kind of neat. And the variety of stuff that it comes with. 
You have like, this is your like instructions. Oh, I thought it was gum. <laughs> I know. I thought it was gum too. Uh, there's your instructions on how to operate the pen. Uh, you, <laughs> you need instructions. <laughs> I need gum. <laughs> you need some gum, huh? Mm. Uh, here's your, uh, this is your charging cable. There's your charging cable in there. And then over here is an assortment of pens and attachments. And so if you ever run out of ink, you have tons of more ink here. Uh, you just grab another one and load it back up. This is your pen. <laughs> this thing is so crazy. I'm going to do a close up so you guys can get a look at this thing. But this pen is crazy. It comes in different colors. So if you don't like this particular color, I got this for the wife to take to work. She's, you know, uh, pens are a thing for her at work. So uh, I'll just make sure my behavioral health patients don't. <laughs> yeah, get don't, that. don't, don't let them get this. <laughs> uh, on one side is your is your writing portion. Okay, let me just get. Sorry, uh, so let me get something just kind of right on. There's your writing portion. Oh, you're not doing hearts. Well, I should do hearts. XOXO. That's your that's your writing portion. I'm gonna write on the back of your color and back to school sheet. Here we go. So there's the writing. And then if you flip it over, and it's did it zoom out? Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta zoom back in here. Zoom back in. There you go. Boom. Zoom. There we go. See? Let me make a heart. Just like that, and a smiley. There we go. Okay. Anyway, there. That's the writing portion. It has different color ink. If you don't like what you're writing with, you can change the ink out. This was really cool. You. Uh, so, I I was tripping out on these little little pegs here, and I was like, "What do you do with this thing? What What is this portion here?" And it's like it's like a transformer pen. But you pull this out, and then you rotate, and then pop it back into place. And then you have a tungsten, um, that, that is a tungsten glass breaker. Now, if you don't want that and you want a self-defense spike, unscrew it. Whoop, I just dropped it. She'll get that for me. Uh, <laughs> She's my lovely assistant. Will I? <laughs> it's right by my foot. There we go. Dump these out. <laughs> you have a hole in, whoa, 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 whoa. Get that back over. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, uh, what's those pens that, like at work you guys use? It has the, oh, touch the stylist. stylist. You have a stylist. Let me zoom that in for you. Here, zoom. There we go. You have a stylist. If you don't like the stylist, here, let me get that. Here. Unscrew that. Try not, to, try not to draw. No kidding. Uh, you have. You need sippy hands. Look, you have a self dispense, self defense spike look at this look at this evil looking spike <laughs> i mean that's not a glass breaker that's just a self-defense spike it's just bap, bap, you know what i mean but it has this now for me i like to keep the uh i like to keep the tungsten glass breaker you know in case you get you know submerged underwater in a car or something i don't know flip it back around you're back to your pen the other cool feature of this let me turn you down here. Now that's that's steel. Check that out. It's magnetic. So it sticks to whatever you need it to stick to. Let me zoom in. There we go. See, you can stick it to something and you're like, where's my pen? Where's my pen? My pen's right here. So I can come back over here and say, all right, there we go. Or I can put it there or whatever. I like that it doesn't look like a pen because then your kids can't No, it react. totally doesn't look, it totally does not look like a pen. All right, more cool features. All right, so it has, uh, they've done like titanium everything. So a lot of this thing's got like a lot of titanium parts to it. Tiny little screws and stuff. It makes it very unique. Uh, people are going to be looking at this thing like, what is that? And it really throws people off by the eye. Uh, open this guy up. Well, on this side, you can just go like this. Let me see. Boom. Boom. You could do like police lights. That's pretty crazy. And you can go. Hang on. I can't remember how I did it last time. Hang on. There's your lights. 
and that's just for regular lights and then you can crack this open watch this so you got your lights on this side most pins don't do this when it comes to like tactical pins you have a reading light but you can also if you need to work on your car under the hood you can attach it you can attach it under your hood and it'll light up the area the other thing that was cool is like if you need a reading light you can do this you can bend it down just like that and then you've got yourself a reading light it's kind of neat it's like so you're not writing something you're just like i need to read this book right here you know you just hang it up and then you can also do that and leave the magnet on or whatever let it glow boom and it turns off but didn't take very long to charge it and it takes very simple batteries charges right up and rocks and rolls you get one two three four four five you get five pins that's your change outs you get some o-rings like i said you get your stylus your glass breaker and your eye gouger and it all comes together in this one kit in that pretty neat. but wubin doesn't make just freaking pins they like they make crazy stuff and if you ever get a chance check those folks out they're crazy they got some wild toys to play with all right next up on the list this is a 20 dollar item okay it was like 20 bucks and um i spent like 45 bucks or something on like this uh real deal survival kit kind of thing and this was only 20 bucks the other one that i have the only slight difference is, is the mirror but this is uh like the sol it's like the sol uh that they make that's like 50 bucks there's your lanyard that comes with it and everything normally these things are like 50 bucks but this is 20 it's like a 20 dollar kit same exact construction same exact items and it's twenty dollars versus fifty but this way you can get just like the other one you get your knife then you get your flashlight oh my flashlight's on oh forgot to plug the battery <laughs> hang on don't you dare so what do we have going on here i think the batteries are backwards i don't think those are right <laughs> i'm just gonna try it like that and see nope <laughs> I think the batteries are dead. So that's why you get it for 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, they don't you put a safety tab on there, do they? Shut your face. <laughs> all right, whatever. This is my first fail. Oh, well. That's okay. okay. Can't get them all. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, you change those batteries out and you'll have a flashlight. Use your pen. <laughs> Use your pen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you get a whistle. Anyways, there's your whistle. Uh... Pop that back in there. I'm telling you, that flashlight's supposed to work. It's so mad. All I right. was in the box. It's all good. Oh, well. There's your flint. That works. That's good. Compass works. Compass should be removable. There you go. Compass works. And inside here, you get... Can you see it okay? Okay, they can see mm -hmm. okay. All right. You get a survival saw. There's your survival saw. You get fishing line. You get, uh, there's your uh, fire tender. There's your uh, stuff for making a lure. Bandages. This one has a bit more than the other one had. Bandages. Even comes with a spare ferrule rod. The other one did not come with a ferrule rod. It come with some kind of like survival tips or something. That's actually metal. I thought that was plastic at first, but you can unscrew this. Is there such thing as a plastic ferro rod? No, I mean this handle's actually oh, okay. made of made of a, aluminum. So, oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to freak anybody out or anything. Uh, bandages go back in there, and then these guys go back in there. That, this thing, and let's see if I can close it back up without having any problems. Does that go back in there? Nope, that goes in the other thing. All right. But you could add to this, once you get your batteries changed out, if you go to Harbor Freight and buy some batteries for it, uh, you spend your $2 on some batteries. Uh, but anyways, uh, this should be working fine, but of course the batteries are dead. But anyways, but that's your 
uh, Vontago, Vontago, whatever uh, company. And I thought that was kind of neat. It's called 20. Vontago. Vontago. Well, to be a little fun. Bond to go anyway, but Bond to go is only twenty bucks versus you know buying one of these. The only difference was the mirror. All you gotta do is add a mirror and fix the batteries, and you should be good to go. <laughs> there uh, we go. But Perfect. anyways, that's about it. I thought I would share that with you guys because I know a lot of folks are looking for some kind of deal where they don't spend like hundreds of dollars on stupid things that uh, you know it just doesn't make much sense to sell it for that much. Well, anyways, same thing, twenty bucks. Uh, one of the other items that I have here, I thought was really cool. Now I've done one of these on the show before and I've had Sippy do one on the show before, uh, to trip folks Those out. Those things are so awesome. They are, they are. They, uh, they work great for so many different things. I need like a, an apple or something to do a demonstration a of a couple of things. All right. So I've got an apple here. I just wanted to show you something real quick. So it's got a pillar. And you can get on something like this. Look at that. You got a pillar. So. Although I don't recommend shoveling manure and then peeling your apple. Well, it's not a very good pillar. But it's got a pillar. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Made a mess. Alright, so that's your pillar. Then you've got like this saw blade on here. There's your saw blade. Oh, that's so good for hacking away at roots and stuff. I use mine all there's the your, time. There's your garden. knife. I just wonder how that would work. Hang on. Let's see. All right. Looks like it works pretty good for that. Now, I'm telling you, it's amazing on roots. Yeah. Digging stuff up. Then you've got a section here for bolts. So if you've got, say, a variety of different size bolts or something like this it's got something in there for everyone i guess yeah it fits yeah so you can work bolts then you've got a section here there's my nail you got a section here for your nails to pull your nails out i have to try that on a board hang on yeah, I'm all right stand by you're gonna stand by in case i have an accident but anyways, you got a spot here. Just loop that in. I'm assuming you can still grab. It grabs. It grabs in different locations. So you can still grab. I pulled that right out. Nice. Now, of course, I wouldn't be able to get like some crazier ones. I'm pretty sure that big one there would be hard to get out. That's a pretty big. I don't think. You got to get a good grip on it, DA. Oh, I know. I don't think they're gripping very well. Oh, shut your mouth. Come on. I don't think this one's meant for that. Muscles. It's the angle. Look, it's all wrong. You didn't take your protein shake today. You there you go. You're, I'll just spin you're it. thinking outside the box. Look at that. Look, Look at I'm you. so smart. You are the smartest man. Look at that. Got it right out. Look at that. Took me like two seconds. All right. Yeah. Stuff that in the middle. Good job, Gary. You've got, um, there's a flathead section here. And you, I'm sure you could use the front for a freaking uh, um, Phillips head. You've got a section here for uh, for prying open opening bottles. You got your bottle opener on the side, and uh, I thought it's kind of neat. It's got now. Last time I did one of these, I actually threw it and stuck it in a wall or something. But uh, this one's different than the last one we got. It's all welded, so it's got a solid. If you look down in there, it's got a solid weld. All the way through. Now, if you took this paracord off, you would probably, I don't think I want to remove all the paracord, but you've got a nice hole there. So you could pretty much shove this like that all the way through and have yourself a crazy spear. Yeah, it'd be perfect for taking out zombies or whatever mm -hmm. if you had something like that. But I thought that was really cool. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was neat. Had some pretty interesting stuff. And I think all the pillar needs is a little bit more opening. If you just kind of bent that out a little bit more, it would get a better bite on the apple. I would apple. just buy a peeler. Yeah, no kidding, right? All right. That was the other item. Now, I'm going to have all these listed below. So, in case you guys are looking for any of them. The next weird one that I have. Now, this one's a weird one, all right? All right. You guys remember. Uh, you might not remember. Um, 
back in the day, I was kind of showing you guys some green lights. What happens if you wear a green light over your head at night? And how it literally, every animal's eyes and everything just glow instantly. Like you can spot all kinds of animals hiding in the woods with this little guy right here. Because it's a green light. And that's all its purpose is, is spotting animals. That's its main goal, is to spot animals. And it comes at just, just a green light. That's all it does. You want to turn the light off for me? It just does a crazy, crazy green light. But this green light travels a, a heck of a throw. So since it's a thrower, it will light up the whole area to help you spot animals. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that it comes with. Go ahead and turn the light back on, please. Show you some of the stuff that it comes with. Pretty please, with sugar on top? All right. My assistant's giving me a hard time. I need uh. a raise. <laughs> All right. So this is just your standard switch. They give you two batteries. Hmm. If you need batteries, they give you two, and they're fully charged when you get them. Uh, one thing, thing that's cool that they give you, they give you a charger. So you can charge one of your extra batteries while you're not using it and then keep it charged and use it again. Uh, they give you this as a pressure switch. I like sharing simple items that are affordable. So for those of you out there that don't know. All right. But this is your pressure switch. And you can tap it, see the animals where they are, turn on your green laser or whatever and let them have it. Now, they give you an attachment for whatever you want to stick it to. It literally, this comes off, they give you so many attachments, it's crazy. They give you this, so you could do just that if you wanted to. And then they give you the spacer to attach it to a barrel like a shotgun or something, so or 22 or whatever. Uh, then there's your pressure switch mount right here. It just goes right on the back, double-sided tape, to the item you are nuts it's not gonna work on that why not I don't know I haven't tried it yet I'm assuming you would do that you know like something like that I I think it'd be like that but they give you this other one here I thought that's kind of neat I'll just do that there we go and you just mount that sucker like slide it right through there like that you want to play this game, don't you? You know I won't. You know I won't hesitate. I'll I'll do some silly stuff. You know me. I get silly. Attach this on here. Let's try and get this tightened down. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Sounds like you're killing it. I am. Ugh. All right. Give me some pliers. You really want to see me do this, don't you? <laughs> you are fascinated at the weirdness that I do down here. Yeah. I do some pretty weird stuff when I'm down here, and I, I get crazy and make weird things. If any of you are ever bored and you want to come hang out with me, you would have a, a blast. All right, uh, let's do our pressure switch. Let's go ahead and let's, let's get this on here. All right, trying to get that off. Ah, this is like Velcro or something. Is that? I think it goes on like that. Is it like that? Nope, I did that wrong. That's the other side. All right, like that. So you go like that. Something like oh, that. Nice. Doosh, 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 doosh. <laughs> That's cool. Now, does this work? Let's see. Am I going to be able to rack this thing? Let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm racked. All right, let's load it up. Oh, we're hot. We're hot. Let's go try it out. Try out. The crazy light. Hang on. I'm having trouble with this. Oh, that one did not fire very good. I think I might have got hung up on my... Your cord? Probably. Let's try that again. Hang on. Okay, let's do All it. All right, let's do it. Let's see if I can get it in there. Line is hot. Line is clear. Dun 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 dun. Charlie, you want to try it? Yeah, I can. All right. Uh, you want to try it? Yeah. That's fine. Let's do it. 
or 30 percent come back up. Yeah. Can't remember what button I push. There's one. There it is. The top button. There's a top button that keeps it on permanently. Yeah. Put it in my pocket. Oh, wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now just point. Point at what you want to shoot. Don't squeeze the trigger thing or the thing down here because it might turn the light off. Keep the light on. Point at what you want to shoot, okay? Okay. Oh! I'm going to keep it like this. I love it. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's just a little 50 pound pistol bow. <laughs> it's cool. The switch, okay, so the switch. You actually, all right, thanks, Charlie. You got, you you push the button right there just once and it'll stay on. If you want to do momentary, you just push this right here. But this will work great at nighttime. And it shows up really great in the daytime, as you can see. But uh, set it on something and let it rip. This actually works pretty good. All right, I got another crazy item to show you. All right, last item, last item, last item. This one is for the guy that needs a spotter. You need a spotter? This is your spotter. Let me get this out very carefully. Very delicate item. Oop, there's your lens cap. Make sure you guys keep that on there. Da -da -da. It's a 25 by 75 70. And... This is a very soft, luxurious, look at that case, that nice furry inside there. Let's get that out of the way because it's kind of in the way of everything. Comes with the detailed instructions on how to use your camera mount. If you want to use a camera to take pictures while you're zooming in and out with this bad boy. Uh, pretty simple uh, instructions here. I found this one on eBay. I thought it was kind of neat. Because uh, sometimes I like to find stuff weird on eBay, and this is one of the items I found on eBay. Uh, you've got your lens cap, like I said, big, huge lens, and then over here, there's your zoom and zoom. You can focus uh, all the way in and out with this. This is good for the sun. If you got a lot of sun glare, you just bring that guy out, and that keeps the sun down while you're while you're looking and there's your cap for the top and then here is your base we're going to take this out get that, get that base base get this guy here you tighten that up and that holds it in place and you've got your legs there rotate this guy and then you attach that guy on there hopefully you guys can see okay yeah Bring these out. Bang it up too bad. And then it just sort of sets up on its own. And then now you have a camera attachment. You can see what I'm doing okay. Yeah, there's your camera attachment. You just bring this in and just tighten it up. And then you just attach whichever camera it is you want to look into the site and we'll just go and see if we can see anything pretty far away all right so this is it in place and now we're gonna load this thing up off in the distance there i'm gonna try and zoom in on one of those tree limbs right there and give you a better look okay i got it okay see like i can go through there's the field that is so far away but that's through the field now let me hold that in place there we go that's the field dude it's so far away i can zoom i can zoom that in and out just from here i can see past it so the bushes so i can blur that out and then i can bring it back and then i can stare at the bugs that are crawling on that stick that far away now what you're looking at let me just go ahead and open this camera up. I want to show you what you're looking at, just so I'm not tricking you. Let's bring this up from the camera. It holds the camera in place. That dead tree right over there is the one you were staring at. <laughs> is that not cool? That's pretty neat, huh? 
But anyways, but that's this gadget here. And like I said, I found that on eBay. And I thought that'd be pretty neat to share with you guys. But that's a spotting scope. Is that pretty cool or what? Yeah. Pretty crazy looking. You could go put that in your room or something now and start staring into outer space. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the crazy stuff. I kind of like all this craziness. I just like goofing off. And as you can see, I really like goofing off. <laughs> but uh, cool items. It's uh, worth taking a look at. And I'll have the uh, I'll have all the links below so you guys can just click them and go check out whatever it is that I've got here. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if you want to see more stuff like this, just comment below and uh, give me some uh, give me some ideas for for uh, future crazy boo. What are you doing, <laughs> kids? All right. Give me more crazy ideas below. I appreciate it. God bless you guys. Take care. Where is this picture? And stay sane. Where are you at? Stay sane. There you go. It's my bedtime. <laughs> Take care. God bless.